What's up, Internetpreneurs? This is John Collins Palmer from OnlineLibertyLifestyle.com. Another day, another video. Today's topic that I'd like to talk to you all about is how to engage your audience. Maybe you're an up-and-coming YouTuber, maybe you're an internet marketer, maybe you just want to develop some kind of web presence with your audience. Okay, so from what I've seen on YouTube from some of the more successful YouTubers, for instance, is that they have a name for their audience members. So, for instance, Philip DeFranco, he calls his viewers the DeFranco Nation. Uh, trainer Tips, you know, people that follow him and are interested in Pokemon Go still, they, you know, he calls them trainers. Um, let's see. I call y'all internetpreneurs because if you're watching my videos, I'm assuming that you're interested in maybe starting some kind of online business and how you can develop an audience and engage with them in that way. Um, let's see. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Wheezy Waiter. He's an older YouTuber. He's been around for 10 years now, but, um, you know, he calls his audience beard lovers. So... Yeah, those are some of the ones that come directly to my mind. If you can think of any more, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Speaking of comments, that's another way to engage your audience, especially on YouTube, is to ask questions to your audience. Actually, you know, engage in discussion with them. You know, make it a forum in the comments. And always respond, especially if you're a smaller YouTuber and you only have 500, 1,000, 10,000 subscribers even. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to um, respond to every single comment. <laughs> so in addition to engaging with them on YouTube, um, actually ask them to follow you on all kinds of other social media as well. You know, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, uh, Instagram, whatever, everything, you know. And that's really important because, you know, keep in mind that just because you're subscribed to your YouTube channel, doesn't mean that they're gonna see your newest video. So if they follow you on multiple platforms, then there's a higher chance that you're actually going to be viewed. Um, and of course, you can also engage them specifically more on YouTube by asking for likes, um, doing giveaways. You know, sometimes this seems kinda cheesy and, I don't know, kinda needy in my opinion. You know, don't beg for likes, but if you wanna be creative, you can, uh, you know, have subscriber pillows in the background, just kind of have like subliminal messages saying, you know, subscribe. Just have that message out there, but don't actually, you know, ask for it if you don't feel comfortable doing that or you don't want to or you think you're being too needy. Um, I don't feel that way. You should like and comment on this video right now. <laughs> the last bit of advice I guess I'd give you is to just post consistently. You know, if your brand is entrepreneurship and online business, or if that's what you're interested in and want to get into, you know, look at some of these successful YouTubers. Uh, Minority Mindset would be one that really comes to mind. He makes quality content. Uh, he makes it consistently. I think he makes two to three videos a week. But, um, you know, less than a year ago, I noticed that he had maybe 25, 30,000 subscribers. And less than a year later, he's up to like 125,000 on YouTube alone. I think he has like a million on Instagram. So it's quality content and he consistently puts it out. Right now, I'm not too focused myself on huge quality content. I just kind of concentrate on quantity at the moment. You know, otherwise I wouldn't just be walking around <laughs> in my neighborhood. But it is nice to do daily walks and, and do this. But... Eventually, I'm going to get better lighting, uh, better camera, and probably use a green screen as well. But if your videos are really well planned out, then those three things are really all you need to make quality content. You know, it's the same thing with movie reviewers. Um, perhaps you all are familiar with Jeremy Johns or uh, Chris Stuckman. You know, he has his little set and... Um, he just talks about movies and <laughs> that's it. It doesn't really take much to be a YouTuber other than uh, consistency and devotion to professionalism 
and really loving what you do. So to recap, um, have names for your audience, ask them to engage with likes, comments, etc. Use other social media platforms and just be consistent. Make quality content that's coming out on a consistent basis. You know, they're gonna know when you're putting out new videos and they're gonna wanna see them every time they come out. So, yeah, if y'all wanna follow me on all my links, those will be down below. Um, I'll also link to some of the other YouTubers that I mentioned because I do think they're very good. So, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Pura vida.